Hello everyone. In this session of CCNP Encore series, I'll give you a brief introduction to SD WAN. And before that, we'll look at the challenges faced by traditional WAN architecture and how SD WAN can resolve the same. As you know, traditional WAN networks were designed to connect multiple sites such as HQ and branch offices using uh, private connections such as MPLS or any other overlay solution such as uh, DMVPN and IVAN to ensure secure and reliable connectivity between HQ and branch offices. It was built to route traffic from remote sites uh, to the data center in HQ, uh, which enabled remote users to access applications hosted centrally in the HQ through private MPLS circuits. However, with the rise of cloud computing, business trends uh, shifted, like moving applications out of the data center into the public clouds and offering cloud services like SaaS, uh, which is also called software as a service, which are like uh, the examples are Microsoft Office 365 or uh, Salesforce.com. Also the introduction of uh, infrastructure as a service or IaaS, which offers services like, for example, uh, the services offered by Amazon, AWS, Amazon Web Services, or uh, uh, Google Compute Engine, which is called GCE, or Microsoft Azure, Due to this, actually, the traffic now flows directly to the public cloud and then the internet rather than uh, internal data centers. As a result, traffic from remote sites has to first pa I mean, uh, go through the HQ before being routed to the public cloud and back. This created a unique challenge like uh, the traffic from the branch office has to go to the HQ. And... Uh, Actually, the traditional WAN solutions were not designed for the cloud-centric environment. Because uh, of this, they create inefficiencies and multiple challenges for enterprises. Let's look at some of the challenges. Uh, one of the big challenges, high cost. Traditional WANs uh, rely heavily on the MPLS, right? MPLS circuit for uh, secure and reliable connectivity and bandwidth costs are very high especially if you are uh, planning to upgrade the circuits or if you are adding more branches the costs are pretty high with MPLS circuits then there is a complexity of the management like manually configuring and managing van devices at branch or HQ sites is time consuming or prone to errors then uh, again implementing network changes such as uh, adding new branches can take weeks or even months and deploying private MPLS circuit is slow and tedious process often delaying the rollout of new remote sites then there is a fragmented control like uh, the lack of centralized management make it challenging to enforce like uh, policies across your network that is one of the biggest uh, problem in traditional networks then there is a high latency and uh, backholing traffic like routing traffic from remote sites to the data centers and then to the cloud increases overall round trip time and then internet brown traffic is backhole to the data center like uh, the branch office if they want to access internet it has to go to the hq which results in higher latency and poor performance for cloud applications then there is a another availability issue like routing all traffic to the company's data center creates a single point of failure. This is where the SD-WAN comes into the picture. It has been designed to address uh, these challenges. Like SD-WAN stands for Software Defined Wide Area Network. It is a software defined or SDN approach to managing the WAN. Like it is an overlay architecture that applies the principle of SDN into the traditional WAN. It can provide secure access between remote locations such as branch offices uh, or uh, campus networks, data centers and the cloud over any IP based underlay transport network. If you see here, uh, I mean, those networks can benefit from this. 
it is designed to meet uh, the need of modern enterprise applications and the rapidly going growing security requirement let's look at some of the features or i would say benefits of sd wan the first uh, benefit is centralized network management traditional wans require manual configuration at each site right which is time consuming and prone to error as we saw in the challenges so sd wan simplifies this by managing and configuring all branch devices from a single dashboard we'll discuss about this in detail like uh, for example it has uh, we manage and controllers to uh, centralize the configuration and everything and you can also apply network policies con consistently from this controller across all the side with just few clicks then uh, there is another important benefit is it reduces your cost like SD WAN helps uh, lower cost by utilizing cost effective broadband connection instead of expensive MPLS circuit if you see here uh, you can use multiple uh, underlay i mean uh, technology technology like 4G internet MPLS anything whichever is suitable for you so this will def definitely reduce the cost because you can if you use the existing internet connection and then uh, the uptime will be improved like uh, it will automate tasks like uh, traffic routing failover security updates minimizing human errors and uh, which in turn will improve the uptime then there is a seamless extension into public cloud like today's digital enterprise need to seamlessly extend their network into public cloud like in the traditional van it has to go to hq right but in uh, uh, sd van uh, whether they are connecting branch offices remote workers on premises infrastructure uh, sd wan achieves this by offering you like uh, direct cloud access like connecting branch locations directly to cloud services without backhauling the traffic to the data center if you see here like a remote user can directly access it without uh, going to data center or other way and then there is a multi cloud support like it you can easily integrate with multiple cloud providers like aws azure and google cloud this approach actually improves performance and reduces latency and en enhances user experience for cloud based application then there is a optimal user experience for saas applications like uh, as organization rely morely on uh, saas application like office 365 uh, or zoom salesforce providing an optimal user experience become critical actually sd wan ensures uh, this by offering you application aware routing and dynamic path selection which results in better application performance and improved productivity then uh, another one of the most powerful feature of sd wan is ability to provide a transport independent wan what does it mean is like uh, sdn sd wan uh, leverages a transport independent fabric technology that is used to connect remote locations together and this is accomplished by using an overlay technology like uh, the overlay works by tunneling the traffic over any kind of transport between any destination within the van environment like as i said uh, the overlay works by uh, actually it creates a tunnel over any kind of transport between any destination within the van environment and this means that underlay network can be any type of ip based destination such as uh, as i said like i'll show you uh, if you see here here we have uh, in the fabric we have mpls we have internet we can have 4g we can have satellite connection we can have dedicated circuit and this all will reduce your cost another important one is enhance application visibility and intelligent path control and sd wan provides this uh enhance application visibility and intelligent path control by monitoring the application performance it monitors the application performance using different tools and like for example uh, we'll discuss about this in detail like it has v analytics which will get the network data and feed it to the controllers and then the another benefit is end to end net wan traffic segmentation and, and uh encryption i already discussed about yeah uh, intelligent path control like uh, it offers enhanced application visibility and intelligent path control yes and uh, the last one is end to end van traffic segmentation and encryption 
The security is the top priority, right? SD-WAN provides end-to-end -end WAN traffic segmentation and encryption, uh, which protects critical enterprise resources by traffic segmentation. It segments the traffic and provides end-to-end -end encryption. This comprehensive security approach enables businesses to securely remote, I mean, connect remote sites, cloud services, and data centers. These are the benefits of SD-WAN. In the next section, uh, sorry, uh, before that, let me tell you there are two actually SD-WAN solutions. Cisco currently offers two SD-WAN solutions. One is Cisco SD-WAN, which is based on uh, Viptela. This solution is designed for organizations that are heavily cloud focused and are looking for features such as uh, advanced routing advanced security and granular segmentation. The second type of solution is Cisco Meraki SD-WAN. This solution is simple, uh, all-in-one solution that combines SD-WAN with security features. It is recommended for organizations that uh, require unified thread management solutions with SD-WAN functionality or that are existing. If you are an existing Cisco Meraki customer looking to expand to SD-WAN, this is for them. And UTM is uh, an all-in-one security solution that includes firewall, VPN, antivirus, web content filtering, and more. But uh, for CCNP and core curriculum, we will focus only on Cisco SD-WAN based on WebTela. That's it for this session. I hope this was informative for you. In the next session, I'll discuss uh, about another important topic of SD-WAN, that is SD-WAN architecture.